Okay, ready to go. Uh, we're going to be looking at a way to add some depth to an image, and very simply, uh, what artists normally do is paint uh, layers of uh, light and dark, uh, shadows and highlights. Um, we're going to look at a quick way to do this right now. I'm just going to add some geometric fi uh, features to this texture by painting what I'll call a, a shadow map. Uh, and I'm just going to add a few areas there and then I'm going to go to image adjustments and you could be painting this as well but uh, I'm going to cheat a little bit since we are under such tight constraints we're going to make some highlights and those areas are going to look like they're a little closer to us as a as a rule the human eye perceives objects that are brighter to be closer even when they're not always closer uh, that's um, kind of what goes behind the bump maps you may have heard uh, talk about bump maps and they use a similar um, technique of uh, oops I'm sorry I wanted to go dark on that one to uh, create an artificial sense of depth okay so I'm, I'm just kind of kind of make this look a little uh, 3d ish and let me see where I'm going with this. I guess I'll make these a little brighter. Adjustments, brightness, contrast. I just want to get a quick sense of depth on this uh, texture. Select, deselect. And what did I just do? Well, we'll simply hit this uh, multiply. And you can see that right away we got a little bit of uh, depth here. And there's more you could do. Like I said, you could have done this with painting. Let's uh, duplicate this layer and use some of the tricks we already know to add a little bit more depth. Uh, let's select all, edit copy, and uh, we are going to add a mask. Oops, did I not add that? Okay, I guess I didn't add that. Add the mask, edit paint, paste rather, boy. Gotta start doing these earlier in the day. And let's go to filter, render, lighting effects, uh, straight up and down is good. We will pick our mask here uh, to apply the lighting effect to. We'll make it nice and uh, pop out. That gives a little extra detail to the texture. And we can uh, add that texture as hard light would be better so it doesn't blow everything out. And there we go. We've got some extra detail. Now, of course, we could have gone in here and we could have done some inlays, you know, cut and put different materials here, wood, some runes. Uh, some writing and painting and stuff like on the wall, but we've got a couple of quick um, things. We could also use the other techniques we've uh, learned. As a matter of fact, we talked about uh, painting shadow layers so I don't get distracted too much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint a few shadows on a new layer. I'm on a new layer. I'll hit multiply. I'll grab a brush. I have a nice smooth brush there. Uh, if you hold down the shift key as you oops, click off screen here, I don't know why it does that sometimes, but if you hold on the shift key when you uh, click, you will uh, get that's actually pretty darn dark. Let me just uh, step back a little bit, and let me put that down, that opacity down a little bit, and we'll try that one more time. And there we go, we got a little bit of shadow going there. Oops. Click, you gotta let go in between. And we got a little bit of a shadow going there. Okay. What? Doesn't look good, you're saying? Well, I don't blame you. We're just going to go filter blur. Gaussian blur. Let's blur that a little bit until it looks a little more natural. Okay, we've got some shadows uh, on that layer now. What else can we do this? Well, you remember the tricks uh, we had about cutting and everything into this layer. Um, so I'm not going to really go into that. I think I'm just going to keep on going. We could also add highlight layers. Why don't we? Since we uh, had some light spots, uh, filter blur. Gaussian blur. Okay, I washed out some of the other ones if I do that too much. And now what we're going to do is add another layer. And I'm going to be painting out because I'm running out of time. So, uh, painting out, meaning you will hear me suddenly stop talking at some point. We're going to hit color dodge. We'll pick a lighter color on the same spectrum. And now we're just going to highlight this area that's a little too bright again. I gotta, once again, I'm going to pull this down last few seconds. Hopefully I get one highlight in for you and I'll see you in the next lesson.